Event Treatment, General Information. In this session we would like to introduce you to the topic of event handling. Terminology on this topic varies in terms of disciplines such as building automation, fire safety, access control or intrusion. For example, in building automation, the term alarm is used for equipment malfunctions, whereas in the security industry, this term is used for life safety or emergencies, and otherwise the term events are more commonly used. In Dezigo CC, we use the terms alarm, event handling, and event treatment without specific reference to a disciplined group. This is also evident in the online help document. We use online help to explain general information. In getting started and general information, we find the alarm state symbols and the alarm strategy explanations. This overview shows the different alarm bell states, from alarm pending to alarm no longer pending and not reset. In the alarm strategy we distinguish between three types of alarms, simple, basic and extended. Simple alarms return to normal once the fault has been cleared, without the need to acknowledge and reset. For the basic alarms, an acknowledgement is necessary to reach the normal state. In the case of extended alarms, in addition to acknowledgement, it is also necessary to reset the alarm, an additional treatment that is used for important alarms. Events occurring in the Flex client application are grouped into categories that are color-coded by severity and named accordingly, such as emergency, life safety, danger, high, medium, and so on. The summary bar provides an overview of the event lamps. The number of event lamps in the corresponding categories depends on the customer profile of the logged-in user. For example, in Chapter 2.7 Logon with different users, we logged in with a user that had only the view of the discipline building automation and therefore the number of event lamps in the summary bar consequently decreased. This example here shows the situation of a user with access rights to all disciplines. In the event lamp, the vertical bar and background show the color of the event category. The second event counter shows the total number of events for that category present. The first number, how many of those are unprocessed, and below it the category name. On small screens, the event lamp is reduced in size and only the total number of events will display. An event lamp flashes in the color of the event if there are events in this category that have not yet been processed, as can be seen in our example for the life safety, high and low categories. But also, when new events occur in the system for this category. A solid white background means that there are no unprocessed events for that category, visible here with the categories danger and medium. Event counter at zero in white background means no events for this category. Finally, this button indicates the status of the buzzer. The buzzer is the sound emitted by a client station to notify the operator of events in the Flex client application. If a site has multiple client stations, each one will emit its own sound. When a new event occurs, the client station emits an audio alert that continues for as long as that event remains unprocessed. If there are multiple incoming events, the buzzer continues to sound for as long they remain unprocessed. The buzzer stops when the incoming events have been acknowledged. The specific buzzer sound can vary depending on the type of event. In case of multiple events, the buzzer sound will be the one for the most important, severe event irrespective of any filters or sorting you may have applied to the event list. To silence or unsilence the buzzer, click on the buzzer button as shown here. The information about the summary bar and the event lamp can be found in the online help at any time. The propagation of events will be our next topic.